Lightwave allows us to achieve pretty much everything, being able to create a product in a timely manner, and in some cases a, a much you know, sped up manner from concept to completion. It allows us to staff accordingly and allows us to create a, you know, a desired product for the, the money needed and in the, in the desired time. Being that it's, you know, it's essentially half of our, our 3D pipeline, it is certainly key to, to getting a lot of what we do done. If you are at any kind of a small operation and you need to hit the ground running and you need to do a lot of work quickly, I think that Lightwave's a great tool and I love it very much. Lightwave has always been the package that we turn to to accomplish things that nobody else could do. I can speak absolutely factually when I say that there is no other software package that could generate the quality and the speed that we're doing using Lightwave. I think it's like one of the strongest uh, tools you can have out there as, a, as an independent filmmaker to create a complete film all on your own. And I know that Lightwave is like one of the few packages out there which is straightforward enough that you can do that. It's actually possible to be good in everything with Lightwave. And that's that's the great thing about it. And if you want to work on shows like Lost, you know, or Flash Forward or all these other shows we worked on, then you have to be good in Lightwave. Hi, my name is Rob Powers and I'm Vice President of 3D Development at New Tech. I'm very excited today to share with you some of the great new features and benefits of Lightwave 10. Lightwave 10 introduces our new core technology, plus a whole lot of other new great features that we're going to share with you today. So let's get started. VPR for me, the interactive viewport renderer, is one of the most exciting features of Lightwave 10. Because as an artist, the thing that has always been the most important is the final rendered image. The VPR, our viewport preview renderer, is an amazing new addition to both layout and core. What this technology allows you to do is to actually see the final rendered image look in the viewport as you're working. So while you're animating, while you're manipulating your viewport, you can actually see things like ray traced reflections, ray traced transparencies, ray traced shadows, and all of the beautiful surfacing and lighting that you'd like to have. It really allows artists to get a lot of work done very quickly and to see how your final image is gonna look while you're working. It is just an amazing technology. It's included in layout and in core, and this is a perfect example of how the investment in the core technology that we've made in development is really paying off for Lightwave users now and into the future. The file interchange tools in Lightwave 10 are one of the most exciting new features of Lightwave 10 for me. Because as an artist, you don't want to be locked into having to choose one particular tool to use. You want to be able to choose the best tool for the job, and you want that tool to work with within any pipeline. So the interchange tools in Lightwave 10 offer that. You have support for MDD, which is our, our long-standing geocache format, which NewTek invented. And we also have added native support for Autodesk Geocache, in addition to FBX support and Collada support. So those are all exciting new ways to get your information, your files, your objects, your scenes into other applications. So that is one of the most exciting things about the interchange technology. It's also from the new core technology, it brings all of these new interchange tools universally across all of the applications in Lightwave, including Core, Layout, and Modeler. The Virtual Cinema Tools is one of the most innovative and really cool features included in Lightwave 10. Now this is one of my favorite new features, obviously because of my background on projects such as Avatar and Tintin, where I formed the virtual art department and was highly involved in the virtual production process on those films. Virtual cinema tools allow you to actually move through your environments, move through your scenes as a director would, using technology from companies like Innersense, which we support with their VCAM product, and we also have a lower cost solution, which you can use the 3D Connection 3D Mice products, plug those into a USB port and move through your viewports, move around, check things out, have a virtual walkthrough. These are tools that are gonna really change the way that you explore and uh, preview and move through your sets and environments and your scenes. One of the things that's very interesting about this is it also integrates nicely with our VPR system. So if you're moving through the OpenGL preview and you want to see things as you would see in a final render, 
you can easily, at the flip of a switch, freeze your point of view and then switch over to the VPR and you see a, a beautiful final render of your shot. Virtual cinema tools are very exciting for all creative people that are working with sets and environments and scenes because you can actually use these technologies of the VCAM and the 3D Connection 3D Mice to interact with and move through your environments and scenes in a much more director-centric way. This is really going to change the way that visual artists work with the program. The linear color space workflow is actually a really great new feature in Lightwave 10. In fact, some of our top studios in Hollywood have been using this for several months. One of the best parts of the linear workflow is we find that subtlety comes back into the image. In the past, we'd found some of our EXRs, we were having a hard time getting uh, just subtle shadows and things like that, where maybe your contact shadows were, were too hard, and so we'd have to go into the comp and, and adjust things. But we found with the linear workflow, those subtleties have all come back, and it's made us rethink how we light and shade things sometimes, uh, but we found at the same time we get a, a whole new level of uh, subtlety and beauty to our EXR images. Linear color space is really where we use real world lighting and we strip out the 2.2 gamma that's added to a lot of standard renders when you do normal output in most packages. Um, by doing that though, what it gives you is a massive amount of color space that you can use both uh, going lighter, going darker, um, which means you can make things a lot darker without losing detail, you can make things a lot lighter without them being flat and pasty, um, and all of those things are capable because you're using linear color space to do it. Um, we did that again all within the light wave uh, throughput and then did all our gamma adjustment uh, when we're doing our final compositing. The great thing about the linear color workflow is that it allows you to choose your color space and standardize that color space across the entire process. In your viewports, in your color pickers, what, what it does for an artist is it allows you to actually have a standardization across the application. One of the problems in the past when, when this wasn't implemented is you oftentimes in your light wave scenes would have to pump up your light levels so high that you would often have really hot spots at, at the brightest point and just to get the lights to look and to light the scene the way that you would expect in the real world. When you use the linear color workflow, you no longer have to do that. Suddenly you will notice that your lights act as real lights do in the real world. Their fall-offs make more sense. You don't have to have overblown lights just to get your scene lit. It really makes things much easier and standardizes this across the entire process from setup to render. The linear color space workflow makes it so much easier for artists to set up images and to get the results that they expect. So this is a great new feature in Lightwave 10, and I know that when you try it out and you understand what it brings to you, you're going to really like this. Hardware OpenGL shading is another cool feature in Lightwave 10. The great thing about this industry is that there are always technological advancements with hardware and with software. What hardware shading allows us to do is things that you would never have seen before. Like you can actually in the viewport with no render at all, see in core things like uh, ambient occlusion and the whole scene can be lent by spherical harmonics or HDRI imagery. You can turn on refractions and transparencies and all of that will interact with those spher spherical images in such a way that if you're modeling like a glass bottle, it will look like you're actually sculpting glass. And I think when you see the way that you can actually work in the OpenGL viewports with glow and with uh, actually being able to see bump maps in, in OpenGL in real time, it's just mind blowing when you can see that. In addition, these OpenGL enhancements will allow you to see nodal-based procedurals in real time. This is actually <laughs> just mind-blowing when you can see all of these things layered together with no rendering in your OpenGL viewport. And we've added 3D stereoscopic support in the OpenGL viewports in both layout and core. Now the great thing about this is you can actually change your interocular dynamically. You can move the convergence point and you can see all of that in the viewports as you're working. It's a really cool new feature in both layout and core. I'm very excited about the Bullet Dynamics implementation. It's another great thing that the core application brings to Lightwave users. Bullet is a renowned industry standard dynamics engine. You've seen it in a lot of feature films and TV shows and you probably didn't even know you were watching a Bullet simulation, but it is a great tool set. 
We've integrated it into Core, and the cool thing about it is with the file interchange features that we've also added to the program, you can bake these dynamic simulations out to keyframes and export them to layout for render or even externally to other applications. This is a really great new workflow, and Bullet is another tool, another benefit that Lightwave 10 brings to artists and to our users. Everybody knows how powerful Lightwave's modeler has always been. The cool thing about the new core technology is that it allows us to take those familiar workflows that everybody loved about modeler and improve upon those, expand on them, and actually benefit from core's architecture, which has an awareness of edges, for example, and a more interactive approach to those modeling tools. So I think you're gonna be very excited about the consolidated workflows and the next generation version of our modeling tools which we are introducing in the core technology. Lightwave 10 brings new enhanced UV editing tools to Lightwave users. This is offered through the new core technology in core. We have a great unwrapped UV tool set. We've got camera projection, which is one of my favorites because you can actually project your UVs from a camera perspective. This allows you to do some really cool things when matching plates and doing effects on plates. And also for any kind of 3D virtual versions of matte paintings, for example. This is a really great new technique that the new UV tools in Core bring to users. Thanks for letting us share with you some of the great new benefits found in Lightwave 10. As you can see, Lightwave 10 offers some amazing new tools for artists, studios, and individuals. Innovations that will help us all create our final imagery faster and more interactively than ever before. We are thrilled about the award-winning work being done by you, our users around the world. There is a reason studios keep turning to Lightwave when they need to get projects done on time and on budget. Lightwave 10 is the most powerful version yet, and with core technology, the sky is the limit. I invite all of you to experience it for yourself and I just can't wait to see the new images, animations, and projects that you create. With Lightwave 10, you have all of the tools you need at your fingertips, from model to final render. Now get out there and share your vision with the world. Thank you. <laughs>